In 2006, a group of students at Xavier High School were given an assignment in their English class to write some of their favorite authors and ask them to come visit their school. Well, five of those students chose Kurt Vonnegut Jr., who was in his 80s at the time. Here's his response. November 5th, 2006. Dear Xavier High School and Ms. Lockwood and Monsieur's Perrin, McFeely, Batten, Moore, and Congista. I thank you for your friendly letters. You sure know how to cheer a really old geezer up in his sunset years, 84. I don't make public appearances anymore because I now resemble nothing so much as an iguana. What I had to say to you, moreover, would not take long. To wit, practice any art, music, singing, dancing, acting, drawing, painting, sculpting, poetry, fiction, essays, reportage, no matter how well or badly, not to get money and fame, but to experience becoming, to find out what's inside you, to make your soul grow. Seriously, I mean starting right now, do art and do it for the rest of your lives. Draw a funny or nice picture of Ms. Lockwood and give it to her. Dance home after school and sing in the shower and on and on. Here's an assignment for tonight, and I hope Ms. Lockwood will flunk you if you don't do it. Write a six-line poem about anything, but rhymed. No fair tennis without a net. Make it as good as you possibly can, but don't tell anybody what you're doing. Don't show it or recite it to anybody, not even your girlfriend or parents or whatever, or Ms. Lockwood, okay? Tear it up into teeny weeny pieces and discard them into widely separated trash receptacles. You will find that you have already been gloriously rewarded for your poem. You have experienced becoming, learned a lot more about what's inside you, and you have made your soul grow. God bless you all. Kurt Vonnegut.